I'm gonna show you how to sharpen a cleaver with the Tormek T1 kitchen knife sharpener. The Tormek T1 kitchen knife sharpener is one of the most incredible power sharpeners you can get for your kitchen. The Tormek T1 is the introductory line of the Tormek powered sharpeners, which is actually designed for kitchen, home cooks, barbecue pit masters, and those that really are sharpening knives on a semi-regular basis, but more importantly, can power hone their knives all the time. Honing is actually more important than sharpening because if you hone your knife regularly, you don't have to sharpen your knife as often. Regular honing of your knives on a daily basis, if you're using a knife every day, really allows a knife to last a lot longer between sharpening and actually removing the metal. Honing is not sharpening. Honing removes the burr. It also straightens up the edges that may be rolled from use of the knife. And the diamond disc on here is actually used to remove the metal, create a burr, and then you would actually take the burr off with the hone and get that knife razor sharp. Now, the great thing about the Torma T1 is that it is very simple. It is a one piece unit, it is a cast, zinc housing. Now the guide on the Tormek T1 is fantastic for regular knives, but what if you have a cleaver you have to sharpen? There's no way that's going to fit into the guide. Well, Tormek thought about that and has a way to do it and it's very simple. You simply remove this guide from the device and we're going to go ahead and take this off and when you take it off this is going to fall out which is fine. It's the angle indicator, nothing broke. You're then going to take this piece which is the plastic guide that has the magnet and you're gonna go ahead and remove that and you'll lift up back here and then you'll basically lift it off and remove it from the unit. Now, when you do take it off, you are gonna lose the magnet, which means you're not gonna have the ability to capture any type of metal dust or shavings. So you wanna make sure when you do this that you're careful to clean up afterwards because you will have some residue on your counter. I recommend to put a towel underneath there and that way you don't have to worry about cleaning your counter afterwards. Same with the power honing. After you do that, it is gonna have residue that it puts out over the counter. So I'd use a towel as well to catch the residue from the hoeing. Now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this back together with the angle indicator and the angle indicator can face inward or it can face outward. You wanna make sure you insert this pointing towards the machine when you put this in the angle indicator because that's the way it's designed. It only works one way. If you try to put it in the other way, it's just not gonna go in. Don't force it, it's the wrong way. So we put that in. We now have our angles from eight degrees to 22 degrees to allow us to sharpen our cleaver. Go ahead and put this back on the device like so. There's actually a little notch you'll see right down here that this is gonna slide over. Take that out, slide that on the notch and bring it in. And then we'll go ahead and lock this up at 13 degrees. Now, a lot of people ask, why are you doing 13 degrees? That's because this knife is 13 degrees. And how do I verify that? Let me show you. Now, one of the ways, and it's a very classic way and one that most people do, to determine the angle on this knife is you use an edge marker. In this case, it's the Tormek and it's the EM15 edge marker. I like it the way it's shaped. Any marker is gonna do, but this one's great. And you go ahead and you mark the edge. You're gonna go ahead and place this in the degree angle you think it is. In this case, say it's 13 degrees. You're gonna go ahead and turn this like so and we'll see how accurate we are. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna put this and make this edge black all the way across so that your edge looks like this. Hopefully you can see that. We're then gonna place this in here at the degree we think it is, and it'll show us with that mark if we're on the money. That entire black strip will be removed. If our angle, okay, our angle like this is too shallow, then you're gonna be hitting the top of that marker and you're not gonna have any of the bottom of the marker exposed. If our angle is wide, you will have the bottom part of the marker removed and the top is gonna to be still in place, telling you that it's too much of an angle. So you're gonna to have to experiment to decide where that angle is. You don't have to be dead on. If you're close enough and you sharpen this after a bit of time, you will get to that angle. You'll be sharpening to a burr and then you'll be going over and honing it and your knife will be sharpened to that degree. The other thing I like is the uh, goniometer. This is actually a laser edge uh, marker that tells me the angle of the knife. Now, I didn't invent this, but I did create this. This is a device that has a laser that is installed into it. This has some bracing to allow this from shifting. And this device accurately tells me what degree this edge is. So to do this, I basically put this in here like so. And I can then look at the light splitting and determine the edge. And I can't see this because I want you to see it. But basically, when you put this up in a perpendicular position, 
and you look at the indicators, it shows me that it is 13 degrees. Now I'll be doing a video on the goniometer. It is a special device. You need to learn how to use it and read it correctly, but it lets me see an edge in about two seconds, maybe three seconds, and I don't have to spend a bunch of time running the marker. Now the marker is a little bit higher, but where that apex is, and you can see the edge is fairly thin on this side, you can see that it took that off right across that blade. Now, to check it again, I'll put it in a second area, and you can see now that angle goes all the way across there. The one thing that's great about this is that the angle is set, you basically place the knife up against the padded section here, and this pad is also gonna have to be replaced because I've sharpened 100 of knives and it's getting time to replace the pad on this. That'll be another video to show you the maintenance on the T1. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. We're gonna go ahead and run this across a few times on each side. And you wanna make sure that the knife is flat against this guide. Don't bring it forward. If you do, you're gonna start affecting that apex. So you wanna slide it down nice and evenly. I start at the back and I just move it across all the way. And we'll do the other side. Now, you've seen me in other videos where I flip around like this. You can also turn this all the way around if you want and go this side, which is probably the safest way to do, but I am right-hand dominant and it's kind of strange to run it like this for me, but um, I will go ahead and again, start it with the rear. Make sure this is flush against the guide in the back. And we'll go across a few times. Same number of passes as before. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at the knife. And we can see here that we've done a good job going all the way across, but we really didn't get the tip. And I purposely wanted to show you that because without the marker, if you're not really experienced, you'll need to learn how to get that tip all the way in there to allow it to be sharpened. So let's go ahead and get that tip going. Now you can see the tip is completely done. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the honing process on this knife. This is the honing wheel, which is already impregnated, so you don't need to actually load it up with any compound. And we're gonna go ahead and run this across like so. And we're gonna basically deburr this. And you wanna make sure that you're going at the same angle, actually a little bit steeper. Uh, that way you hit that burr and remove it from the apex. Then we'll turn over to the other side. And I can already see that's super shiny. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish it off and give it a leather strop. The leather strop is a very important part of the sharpening process. It should be the final stage you do when you sharpen your knife. This is gonna actually polish the edge. It's gonna take off the micro abrasions in a way to get this razor, razor sharp. Tormek T1 does a great job by itself with the honing wheel. You can do it and not even use the strop and you're fine. I just have always used the strop and I love it. This is a PA70 compound. It's actually in my Amazon store, check below. You can order it, it's very inexpensive. I think it's six or seven bucks, something like that. And it'll last you forever. I just take a couple dabs of this and I run it over and smooth it out on this and let it dry. It only takes about maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then you're ready to go and it lasts uh, quite, a, quite a while. So we're gonna go ahead and strop the knife. Now remember, we're at 13 degrees, so I always place it down here, lift it up to where the apex hits the leather. You always wanna go in one direction. And we're gonna go ahead and get this knife going on the strop. You don't need to do it hard. You don't need to do it super fast. We're gonna do it maybe half a dozen times on each side. And then we'll go back and forth one more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and test it on the best tester and see how sharp this knife really is. And as you're doing the stropping, you'll see you'll have some black marks. That's actually part of the steel coming off on this strop. And well, you know you're doing it right. Now this knife feels very, very wicked sharp. I'm gonna go and do the thumbnail test on this. And it does not move at all. If I just set it down on the nail like so, and I try to move it across the nail, it's not sliding, it's digging in. So we'll go ahead and test this and see how sharp our knife is. Let's go ahead and do our test. 129, 129. Let's do another one just to double check. A lot of people see people doing tests and they cut the video and all sorts of stuff. So let's go ahead and try it again. 
Now we'll go up this part of the blade, the front part, and let's see how well we did in the front part of the blade. 147. So there you go. Very, very sharp. And we did a great job with the Tormac T1, power honing, leather strop, we're done. So when you're done, you wanna put your angle guide back together. You'll notice there's a big opening here. That's where this is gonna go in with the hook facing over the top. Put that at a slight angle. This has the pad on the inside. So when you're rubbing your knife between this, you don't scratch your knife up. Slide it on like so. And there you go, the guide is affixed. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guide back in, remember, towards the sharpener, like so. And there you go, we have our angle guide. Slide that back on, just like this. There's a little bit down here, remember a hole you have to get that through and it's the only one way you can do it. Slide it on there and then you tighten it up. And you're ready to go for the next time. And what would any knife sharpening test be without the paper test? Let's go ahead and do it for those of you who'd like to see paper cut with a sharp knife. If you have any questions, drop a comment and let me know. And I've got brisket knives and other knives I'll be doing. I'll be doing a maintenance video on this on what things you need to maintain. There's only actually two things you really have to do. It's got an eight year warranty. You register it, you get eight years of the warranty with it. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at ukulelejbbq. I run in my stories discounts every now and then. Tormek doesn't need a discount because it is incredible and they just don't need to discount it. But as a favor, every once in a while, I get a code that runs for just 24 hours. So if you see my stories, keep an eye out and follow that because there will be a code in there every once in a while. But you got to keep watching my stories and catch it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby!